Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking a little bit about fancy goldfish care. So I made a video about Blackmore goldfish care not too long ago and decided it was time for me to make an updated version that has a little bit more information and is well put together. So to start off, I'm going to talk about goldfish in general. So fancy goldfish and comet goldfish are very different from each other. Fancy goldfish are this more fat species with kind of the longer tails that tend to fan out. And then comet goldfish are the standard like feeder goldfish that only have one tail and are very long and skinny. So basically the general rule is that you can't keep them together because the comet goldfish will outcompete the fancy goldfish for food because the fancy goldfish are a lot slower. But today we're going to be focusing on the fancy goldfish. So to start off their tank, a general rule of thumb is 20 gallons for the first goldfish and 10 more for each additional goldfish. So right here, this is a 36 gallon tank with three goldfish. So 20 gallons for the first goldfish, then we're at 30 for two goldfish and 40 for three. So obviously you can be a little lenient with this. For an example, I'm gonna have four goldfish in this tank and that obviously is out of the rule of thumb, but there are things you can do to kind of get inside the rule of thumb even though you're not in it. And that's what I'm gonna talk about real quick. So with goldfish, if you say you wanna keep four goldfish in a 40 gallon tank, obviously that's considered overstocked. But there are some things you can do to contradict that and that's what I'm gonna go over real fast like I said. First thing, excellent filtration. If you're gonna overstock a goldfish tank, you need excellent filtration. Now if you're just starting out getting your first goldfish, I would not recommend overstocking. You're not ready for that many water changes. I do water changes on these guys twice a week. So that may sound like way too much for somebody or that might not even be not enough for some people. But I have a big canister filter on this tank, which I'll talk about in a bit, as well as doing tons of water changes. But that's the general rule of thumb. If you're starting out getting your first goldfish, 20 gallons for the first one and 10 for each after. So as I mentioned, a standard step when keeping goldfish is frequent partial water changes and gravel vacuuming. So you're gonna wanna take, make sure your tank is clean, okay? For goldfish, they are dirty fish. They do eat a lot and poop a lot. You're gonna wanna make sure you keep up on your water changes, which is basically where you'll take some of the water out of the aquarium and put new water back in. Say a 50% water change once a week is probably good for most beginners. If you wanted to, you could do less, like 30%. But basically, you're gonna remove the water from the aquarium, leave the fish in the tank, and then put the new water back in. So also before you get your goldfish, don't forget to look up nitrogen cycle, the nitrogen cycle. What the nitrogen cycle is, is it basically is the buildup of good bacteria in the aquarium to process the waste your fish produce. So if you have a brand new set up aquarium, this good bacteria is not in your aquarium and your fish will die if you put too much food in the tank or even just putting a fish in the day you buy the tank without doing anything the fish will most likely die because there isn't any good bacteria in the system to remove their waste. So as soon as you put your goldfish into your brand new aquarium, they're gonna poop. And the first thing that poop's gonna do is turn into ammonia, and that is gonna turn the water into ammonia-filled water and kill your fish. So you're gonna wanna let your tank cycle, go through a cycle period, or you can add some beneficial bacteria to your aquarium to jumpstart your cycle, which is what I'd recommend doing. A product I'd recommend is by Top Fin, it's just called Top Fin Bacteria Supplement. Also, sea chem stability tends to work very well. Also, remember that goldfish will grow. They're not gonna stay this tiny little goldfish forever. These guys can grow up to like eight inches long, even more. So you're, like I mentioned, you're gonna need a big tank and they can live for a very long time, upwards of 20 to 40 years. So you need to be prepared to have these fish. You can't just throw them in a bowl and hope for good luck because it's not gonna work, your fish is gonna die. Another thing I wanna touch on is decor in the aquarium. If you're gonna start out with your goldfish tank, I'd recommend getting sand instead of gravel because goldfish tend to sift through the sand or gravel and sometimes if the gravel chunks are too large, they can actually get them stuck in their mouth and choke on pieces of gravel. So I'd recommend getting sand as your substrate as the goldfish will thank you later when they don't choke and die on it. So goldfish can tolerate a wider range of temperatures, anywhere from 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So you don't really need an aquarium heater for these guys. They'll be fine at room temperature. Next up, we're gonna talk about food. For these guys, I recommend feeding them a pellet food that sinks so they can go ahead and find it on the ground rather than gulp a whole bunch of air at the surface when they eat. It helps them from ingesting too much air, which could lead to swim bladder issues. So that's pretty much it for this video. Just make sure you have an adequately sized tank, an adequately sized filtration system, 
do a lot of water changes, feed your goldfish good pellet food, and you'll basically have success. Make sure you do cycle your aquarium. That's a whole nother topic. Go ahead and look that up if you want to learn about the nitrogen cycle. And that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.